And this morning at 6.30, we continue to follow breaking news from Oahu's windward side, where the body of a missing diver was found in waters off Waimanalu. We turn now to things over to KITV4's Eddie Dowd, who's live at the scene where that body was found. And now we can see some daylight, Eddie. And we know that this victim was a 35-year-old man. Good morning, Lay. We've been here all morning long. This was a very... Uh, in the dark search that happened late last night uh, where he was reported missing around 11 p.m. We know that he was with a group of uh, people, five people, um, who were going diving, and that's when he was reported missing when they didn't, he didn't return. And so that call to HFD happened around that time. They arrived on scene shortly after 11 p.m., and that's when that body was located uh, around midnight. Now. Keep in mind, the search all happened at night, and this comes at a time, uh, just a month ago, we had a search just down the road near Makapu'u Beach where uh, the, a missing swimmer uh, was never found. And so for this search, they had to use a specialized unit because it was in the dark uh, to go out. Uh, they had a ground team out in the field. They also had an aerial unit out assisting uh, with that search so they could get eyes on above. But we are told that it, wa it was actually uh, bystanders um, at the beach who were able to locate that body. And then uh, he was, that 35 year old man, the victim was pronounced dead on the scene by emergency medical services. Now, in terms of the location and where this all unfolded, you know, Oahu's windward side, but we are right now by the H Hawaii Pacific University's uh, research pier um, in this area. And so the body uh, was found somewhere about half a mile down this way, heading towards Waimanalo. So we're still working to figure out what exactly caused um, um, his death uh, in the water. That's still unclear. Hopefully we'll have more information later on that will be released throughout the day. Reporting live on Oahu's windward side, Eddie Dowd, KITV4 Island News.